Yo, what's up, YouTube family? It's your boy Kuzi back at you with another hot TikTok reaction video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Let's go. This is Radian Barite. It is a relatively weakly radioactive mineral that I acquired from the Czech Republic. You can see that if I hold a Geiger counter to it, it reads at about one microsievert per hour. This mineral contains radium-226, which is why it's radioactive in the first place. Radium. Let's talk about one of the most interesting elements on the periodic table, one of my favorites beyond potassium, radium. So radium is considered to be the most radioactive element on the periodic table. It was discovered by Marie Curie and can have some very interesting effects. So radium is a metal. It is produced by the decay of uranium. So when uranium decays, it produces radium. That's how it works. And radium is very radioactive. It decays and produces a lot of gamma rays and a lot of radon gas, which is highly toxic. Um, my high school had a radon room in the basement that was just filled with radon gas. I went in there once with a teacher and a couple other students. We were doing some shit for grad executive, but yeah, my high school had a radon room. We love that for us. It was also full of asbestos. So as you can see here, this picture of radium is kind of shitty, kind of bad quality. That's because radioactive stuff is very hard to photo photograph because it messes with the film and like everything. It messes with the camera quality, so you can't really get good pictures of radioactive elements. Radium is also very bad for you. It cr increases your chance of getting pretty much every type of cancer because radiation fucks with your DNA, which causes cancer. It also causes a ton of problems if ingested. So like if you get it into your bodily system, it's treated, your body treats it the same as it does calcium. Calcium is an essential nutrient in your body. It is taken into your bones in order to strengthen them. So when your body treats radium the same it does as calcium, it takes it and deposits it in your bones. But radium is not good for your bones. So when the radium gets deposited into your bones, you develop a lot of bone cancer, which isn't good. So some radioisotopes of radium, so different forms of radium, have a relatively long half-life of a thousand or so years, but some of the less stable forms of radium have a half-life of about three and a half days, which is very fast, and in that time it releases a lot of gamma radiation, which is not good for you. We don't love gamma radiation being absorbed by our bodies. If you're familiar with radium, you might also be familiar with radium girls, which is a very sad and ve very horrifying situation, but back when first radium was discovered, people discovered that it glows in the dark which is super neat, and they were like, this shit is so cool, we love it, we're gonna put it in everything. That was before they knew it was highly radioactive and highly toxic and not good for you. But one of the most common things was on the hands and numbers of wristwatches so they could be held, I mean, so they could be read in the dark, which in theory sounds like a good idea. So the Radium Girls were a bunch of working class women who got employed in factories painting radium paint onto watch hands and numbers. They had to use a very fine paintbrush, which they had to get into a nice point by licking it and then dipping in the paint and painting the numbers on, rinse and repeat. However, as you may guess, the ingestion of radium paint into your face it's not good. So people started noticing, their teeth started falling out, and their jaws Dang. started decaying Ooh. while they were still attached to them. Ooh. Not a good time. Lots of people died, lots of people were horribly disfigured, and there's a very spicy lawsuit over it. If you want to look up pictures, I'm not going to show pictures here because I don't want my account to be taken down. But yeah, very cool element, very toxic, 
don't ingest it, but it's just all around pretty neat. Mary Curry, mm. which is Mercury, and her whole name, there you go. And it's interesting because Mary Curry, or the lady who, who founded Radium, or found Radium, she actually passed away in an accident on an intersection after the Rockefellers paid her to discover radium and how you could have cold heat. This is another interesting one. Cold heat. Remember all those fireplaces and all those buildings? Radium. That's what it was. You could light up the whole house. You could heat the house for free. Practically nothing. That's what all those fireplaces, they were using radium. And it just so happened that she passed away on an accident and then everything with radium started to go away after World War I and World War II which we always know how it goes. After World War I or World War II, things begin to vanish. So she was an interesting one. Now we take it a step further. Remember all the photos where they would white out the background? Okay, now how many of you heard of the Radium Girls? And I bet you didn't know the cold heat fireplaces also were out during the time of the Tartarians. Cause that's where I first heard of it. The Tartarian fireplaces, the ones that did not take any type of uh, wood or anything. They would not only cool your houses, but heat your houses up too. It's some type of crazy technology. Probably come from, you guessed it, Fallen Angels, man. Fallen Angels. I think it's Fallen Angel tech or some type of alien tech, but... Uh, I'm not for sure. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. I might just be tripping. ...was connecting to the fountain of youth. It was allowing insects to live. So insects are living three times longer when they are exposed to this radium water. Could the fountain of youth literally be a fountain of glass made of radium? And it structures the water and that keeps people younger. So just like lead paint, was taken out of homes because it blocks harmful frequencies, did we remove radium glass from homes because it kept us alive longer? <laughs> it's crazy. You can use radium to test if a diamond is real. This is great. They were growing lab-grown diamonds in 1902. Everything was being made in the lab. So you know hold this whole lab-grown meat situation? Guess what? Man, hold up, man. They've been growing lab... They've been having lab-grown diamonds, man. I'm thinking they just came out with lab-grown diamonds, you know what I'm saying? A couple of years ago, maybe... Uh, not going to say a couple years ago, but years back. But it turns out they've been growing diamonds in the lab. Man, we've been bamboozled, y'all. Like I always say, don't fall for the boo-boo, man. Hey, you know what I mean? That's all from 1902. That was already being done. Just like diamonds were being grown in a lab in 1902. Then they make you pay a premium for them when they could just grow them. They can also transmute certain materials to create diamonds for free. This book holds a lot of gems, that's for sure, 1902. So then they exposed larva to radium and they noticed that they actually lived three times the lifespan according to his fellows and still showed no signs of changing into a moth. So what they were showing was the radium was connecting to the fountain of youth. It was allowing insects to live three times as long as they normally would. If you think about it, Radium begins to be the fountain of youth, and that's another reason we were told about, you know, the radium girls and girls licking paint, which makes absolutely no sense, for 13 hours a day licking paint and whatever else, putting chemicals into the body, but not talking about the fountain of youth with radium. Hmm. What do you think? You think radium is uh, has something to do with the fountain of youth? Me personally? Nah, I ain't buying it. Like I say, man, lack of perception breeds deception. Never forget that. Rare breed crew. Y'all spam the comment section. Don't fall for the boo-boo, man. And spam the comment section. Rare breed crew. If you are part of my crew, you're part of the rare breed crew. Spam it up in the comment section. The Native Americans were very connected with radium because those are the four corners. You can find radium in Utah. You can find it in Colorado, you can find it in Arizona, and you can find it in New Mexico. You think about the four corners and the four states and those areas, there was tons of radium all in that area. Okay, well, somebody understood 
that they could ink themselves with radium and they could enhance their cells with radium. And the most fascinating one, which I'm putting in my book, is I found a old 1950s newspaper talking about how somebody would mix radium with terracotta clay. They would put those two together and they would create these radium terracotta bricks and they would make plants go absolutely wild. And this was shown in the San Francisco World Fair. The San Francisco World Fair Reset, where they showed technology to people that already existed and put it out there and then got rid of it completely. Let me know what you think about that, man. Radium has been around for a long time. Y'all heard what they said. It was made by the lady, well not, it was made by, it was discovered by the lady Mark Curry, Mary Curry, Mary Curry, you get it? Yeah, it's kind of, yeah, that's kind of weird, right? But hey, y'all, if you want to learn how to go viral on YouTube and make viral YouTube reaction videos, just like I do and just like some of the other creators out there, go to my Patreon and go buy my course. It's only a hundred bucks, man. A lot of other people are going to be charging you way more for the information. They go charge you thousands of dollars for courses, man, I'm telling you. Hey, if you want to go viral, go check it out. If you want to support the channel, you want to donate to the channel, you could like, subscribe, share the videos, or if you want to donate to the channel, you could donate to my cash app at Don Cousy, money sign Don Cousy, or you could do Apple Pay or whatever you want to do. It's up to you. I appreciate all the love. I appreciate all the donations in advance. Anything counts, man. It all adds up. I appreciate y'all. Let's continue. Did you know that in the 1920s, radium was the hottest beauty trend? Yep, you heard that right. Radium, the radioactive element, was used in all sorts of beauty products, from face creams to toothpaste. People thought it had miraculous health benefits. Radium was discovered by Marie Curie, and it quickly became a sensation. Companies claimed it could rejuvenate skin, cure diseases, and even give you more energy. One of the most famous products was Thoradia, a brand of radium-infused cosmetics. Ads promised that using these products would make you glow, literally. But the reality was far from glamorous. Prolonged exposure to radium caused serious health problems, including radiation poisoning. Women who worked painting watch dials with radium paint suffered horrific injuries, leading to the Radium Girl scandal. These brave women fought for justice, bringing attention to the dangers of radium. Their case led to improved workplace safety standards, but the fascination with radium had already left a tragic mark. Pretty wild, huh? What's the craziest beauty trend you've heard of? Drop it in the comments. And don't forget to follow for more weird history facts. The workers had been assured that the paint was harmless. That is crazy. Why would they use radium in makeup for women? They already said it causes bone cracking and bone decay, tooth decay, and all that stuff. Man, I'm telling y'all women, if if it ain't natural, you probably shouldn't you probably shouldn't put it on in your body or on your body. That's what I believe personally, man. And me personally, I like natural beauty. You know, I'm pretty sure a lot of other men do too, other than all that makeup, because it's not really good for you. It's not healthy for you. I mean, everybody knows that, right? It's obvious, because uh, you never know what they put in the makeup, obviously, right? I know, especially if they tell me that they used to put things like radium in makeup. That is absurd, in my personal opinion. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. So they often play games with the paint. It was common for the girls to paint their fingernails and teeth with it in order to enjoy the glow-in-the-dark properties. Paint our faces up and put mustaches and a couple of girls painted their ears. A later study by Harvard into the tragedy of the radium girls discovered that the workers would be so covered with the paint and radium dust that they would glow completely and all along they were assured it was safe. It wasn't. This photo was from 1923, and these women were called the Radium Girls. Now, in the 1920s, these women worked at a factory for a company called the U.S. Radium Corporation. Their job was to mix radium-infused paint and then paint the dials of watch faces and airplane dials. Now, a lot of these watches actually went to the military because the thing about radium paint is that it glows. So this allowed the soldiers to be able to check what time it was in darker conditions. Think of it as glow-in-the-dark paint, but using radium to get that glow. Not good. Well, in 1923, one of these women 
falls sick. And slowly, all of her teeth start to fall out one by one. Until eventually she goes to the dentist. And as he's looking around her mouth, her jaw breaks off into his hands. Now I get it. This sounds like a playground myth. But this was the start of a side effect called radio jaw. The person's jaw would detach from the skull and then fall off. Now of course this shocks the other workers. But the company goes, no, 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 it's fine. Just go back to work. Everything's okay. While these women would paint these dials, they were instructed to lip dip paint. The brushes that they used were made from camel fur. And after a few strokes, the brush would naturally start to fan out. So they were instructed to take the brush, put it in their mouth, and sharpen the tip with their tongue. Keep in mind, at the time, the company was telling these women, this was safe. It's all good. There's nothing to worry about. But the issue with radium is that its chemistry closely resembles calcium. So the body would then mistake in the radium for calcium and start to pump it into all the bone tissue throughout the body. Calcium strengthens bones, whereas radium completely destroys it. And since these women were sharpening their brushes with their mouths, a lot of that radium got absorbed in their teeth and jaws. Not good. Now, unfortunately, the first woman that fell ill did eventually pass away. And the very next year, 50 women from that factory fell sick, 12 of them passing away. At this point, the women start getting very concerned. But again, the company comes in and says, no, 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 no don't worry. It's all completely safe. You'll be fine. All of the coworkers that got sick, not related to this at all. Meanwhile, this is crazy. Nobody from the corporation actually handled the radium paint. And if they did, they would use tongs, masks, and lead screens. Well, the next year, the chief chemist ends up passing passing away, as well as several other female workers. And at this point, the dentists are the first to speak up. They start saying, you know, a lot of your employees are coming in with awful dental health. Their teeth are falling out. We have to do operations. They've got ulcers. And the worst part, after every operation we do, none of the wounds heal, which then causes further infection. So something's going on here. So at this point, some medical investigations start up and they start running these women through x-ray machines. But keep in mind, x-ray machines back then only filled these women up with more radiation, worsening their symptoms. It's, it's, oh my God, like in hindsight, it's so awful. But amongst some of the medical investigations, one of them was paid off by the company. And the goal here was to try and find something else they could pin all these side effects on, something other than their paint. So the company starts urging all medical staff to attribute the issues to syphilis. Now at the time, syphilis was a massive STI going around. And they figured with this being a group of women, they could push this smear campaign, basically putting all the blame on them and saying, look, all these health issues, it's them with syphilis. It's not our paint. It was so brutal. Basically just gaslighting the hell out of these women. Well, a couple years go by and nothing ends up getting done. And all the company does is swaps out the brushes for glass pens. Now, when the women start using these glass pens with the idea that they're no longer going to start putting the brushes in their mouths and the pen will work fine. The issue is as the women started to use these glass pens, they were so much slower. And these women were paid by the dial that they painted. So a lot of them decided to opt back into the brush. And I know what you're thinking. Well, at that point, it's their problem. No, because at this point, Nobody knows what's causing these health issues. They don't know it's the paint. They don't know it's what's right in front of them because they're being told it's safe. Now, at this point, the radium girls decide to sue. They search all around and they eventually find a lawyer that will take their case. But the entire process was very slow moving. So slow, in fact, that the women continued to get sick. So much so that some of them had to drop out because they couldn't even raise their arm to take the oath in court. Now, after years and years, eventually the radium girls ended up winning in court. But of course, the company tried to get it overturned and they would appeal and appeal and appeal. The radium girls ended up winning eight times in court before the corporation was forced to pay out. Each radium girl ended up getting $177,000 that's been converted for today's rates and then $10,600 annually for the rest of their lives. Plus, all medical and legal bills were paid by the company. Brutal, brutal, brutal. Like, And that is the story of the radium girls. If you guys enjoyed this, please be sure to like and follow for more fun videos like this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. See you guys later. Now that is sad. Radium in the paint. No, I, I ain't no way I'm putting no type of paint or no type of substance that I'm using, I'm working with in my mouth to, man, I'm not believing these people, man. These people, everybody know, man, any job you work for, man, you're expendable, man. So you can't be believing what they tell you to do. You can't be doing everything they tell you to, especially if it's really against your health, man. You got to think about yourself, think for yourself first. That is crazy, man. That's so despicable, man. I'm glad they got something but uh it's nothing no money could compensate for your life man especially when it's you know your jaw falling off your teeth falling off and everything and you're gonna you, you, their lives will end it due to that like not too not too long after that that is crazy and ten thousand something a year is not anything i was thinking 100 man that's nothing that's pennies
Let me know what you think though. Would you do that? Me personally? Hell no. Nah. Radium girls and how they're licking paintbrushes the entire time and painting clocks and doing things like that. So if we think about that story, it doesn't make a lot of sense to lick paint all the time. But it's interesting because one of the radium girls lived to 107. You have baseline glass, which is uranium glass, and you have copper, which is the copper pipes that everybody used to have in their house. So when you think about these two things going into the system, one is bringing back life, which is baseline glass, and bringing back the radiation of the body. And then you have copper, which is bringing back the electrical conductivity of the water. This is why everybody used to have copper pipes, even why Zuckerberg has copper pipes. What you put your water in will take on an imprint of whatever it may be. Copper being one, baseline being another. If you think about alchemy, and you think about how somebody imprinted a material into this glass, it really starts to make you think about how you could take something, put it into this glass, and every time you sip it, you would be sipping uranium. But the first time I drank out of this, it was wild. It's very, um, it's very energizing. It feels like, I'm, like I've been sitting out in the sun, which I have. I've been sitting out in the sun a lot, but it feels even more energizing with the sun. And I actually charge this water with the sun too. Okay, man, I forgot to tell y'all, my Patreon is Koozie Reacts, y'all. I will put the link down below in the video description and I'll put the cash app down below in the description for people who want to donate and all that, man. And I'll put my email down there. And also, y'all, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at DonKoozie107MG. Once again, DonKoozie107MG. Follow me on Instagram, y'all. Don't be scared now. Let's get it. See them nails man ain't no way man i've been painting my nails anything like that with some radioactive paint man if you know it glow you got to know it's poisonous man you have to know that let's go things that are deadly that we used to consider normal part four behind me is a photo of a person known as a radium girl back from the 1900s what caused this large tumor here on this girl's jaw was radium poisoning which is a highly radioactive material that used to be used in a lot of fabrication for different objects radium as previously mentioned is radioactive and it also glows which made it very popular to use on watches but not only watches it was even used and advertised as an additive to makeup this cream infused with radium would be rubbed on the skin and of course give you glowing skin at the expense of your skin cells getting destroyed by the radioactive radium. There was also radium infused water that you could drink. In this advert behind me, this place in Salt Lake was giving away free radium water, all you can drink, claiming that it'll make you feel great. People that used an excessive amount of these radium products would oftentimes have their jaws start to decompose and sometimes even fall off. There are some very disturbing photos online that I cannot show here, so if you want to check that out, viewer discretion is advised, but it is available on Google. Follow for part five. Ooh, that's ugly, man. Man, how many of you have heard of these stories about radium, man? Me, personally, I haven't. This is my first time, but they're definitely interesting, man. I definitely, definitely. I'm not getting no watch that glows in the dark with the dog, you know, the dogs that glow in the dark and I ain't drinking out no type of glow in the dark cups because obviously you're getting radium residue and we don't, we don't want those side effects. Is that this box isn't filled with a bunch of pure radioactive material and it's just some old watch hands. This actually makes sense though, because all of these have been covered with an extremely small amount of something called radium, which is over a million times more radioactive than uranium. In my opinion, this is honestly kind of scary, and it's hard to believe that people used to just wear these around. Man, that's dangerous. You're not gonna believe what I'm about to show you. This is an amethyst base made in Assyria in the 8th century BC. The process to make this today requires deburrowing, finishing with diamond grinding tools, finishing with diamond paste grinding on the loose abrasions, and then polishing with chrome oxide. It also has two perfect holes in each side and is perfectly balanced despite the egg-shaped base. This is a woodcut from 1561 of the Nuremberg Sky Battle. 
The inscription on the woodcut describes a battle in the sky where orbs of light, blood red crosses, stripes, and rods were engaged in a battle that lasted a few hours. At the end of the battle, many of the entities fell to earth in a blaze and burned up. After that, a black spear appeared pointing to the west. There have been many cases like this over the years. In the 19th century, radium was used in many products such as heating homes, cooking, and even medicine. It has a half-life of 1600 years, so it lasts a very long time. Old articles stated that radium restored health to thousands. Is radium really dangerous or a miracle element that we are no longer allowed to use? Mm. Man, let me know right now. Are you learning something in these videos? Did you learn something in this video? If so, let me know what you learned in these videos. Let me know what you learned in this video. If not, let me know, man. <laughs> let me know in the comment section, man. Say, hey, man, I ain't learning nothing in these videos, man. No, I'm just playing. I know y'all gonna let me know, for sure. The fireplaces of the old world, never seen a piece of wood in them. Clues have been there all along. You just had to look closer. All these heaters with no flues. So easy to hide things in plain sight. Look at that symbol. That symbol looks quite familiar, doesn't it? They tell us that symbol for radiation was just a doodle. But look at those symbols on some of these heaters from the old world. Not to mention the fireplaces. You would never burn wood in these. They're not made for wood. It's the same reason why the mainstream historians can't figure out or explain how they were able to heat these castles in medieval times. It's because they weren't using wood. It's the reason why the only thing we hear about radium is the radium girls. Have you ever heard of the Tartarian Empire? If you haven't, hmm, go check out my video. This is Tartaria. This is one of my older videos. Go to my catalogs and go all the way down. Go to, you know, to the newer videos. And a lot of y'all out there, I like, man, I like y'all watching these new videos. But go down and show some love to the older videos. Comment, like, subscribe, and share all that, man. There's some good stuff in there, man. A lot of stuff that y'all be asking me about now in the comment sections, I done already covered. You know, y'all, some of y'all knew I done already covered. You know last year in my videos in the older videos so if y'all want to you know go down there and check out some stuff too i promise you you're gonna find some great videos and some great info that you're gonna want to know about some people you ask me about the firmament and all that stuff i got videos about the firmament go down to my older videos man and check them out for sure for sure and if you have heard about tartarius what have you heard about tartarius what have you heard about tartarus let me know in the comment section
that those old fireplaces wasn't used for burning coal and wood and you didn't believe me. But when I say I got your ass, oh, I've got your ass. So, this is how the fireplace used to work. There would be a metal plate at the back of the firebox which would reflect infrared rays when the fireplace was heated up. There would also be two ether capacitators in the fireplace which provokes eddy currents in the metal frame which transmits them to the metal plate at the back. Eddy currents are current loops formed over conductor surfaces due to changing magnetic flux. They are useful in induction heating, levitating, electromagnetic damping and electromagnetic braking. So the fireplace and the roof are both connected by metal bondings through the chimney. The whole construction becomes one solid conductor and then the energy that's gathered from the ether gets converted into heat. In other situations, they even used radium for heating. I guess that's the reason why we're still calling radiators even to this day. I mean, come on, brother. Do you really think there was burning wood and coal in these fireplaces? That's what the savages did when they came along and found these empty buildings because they didn't know how to use the technology. And the size of the fireplace definitely wasn't built by us. So yeah, I've said this many times before, the eyes are useless when the mind is blind. So what I get out of is these ovens were very, or heaters were very efficient and effective. The only thing is when they were in use, they were, they would give off a lot of radiation. And so that's the only thing. There was a big health risk. The secrets of old world fireplaces and so much more is radium. A chemical that's gotten a bad rap just like mercury. But in our hidden history in the old world, it was used in so many applications, from illumination, heating, and medicine. We even adjusted it and used it as hand creams. The uses and benefits were endless. And once the elites came in with their petroleum-based medicines, their addictive medicines, Radium just could be a profitable source. Just like treatments and medicines that were used for thousands of years, outlawed and labeled new age and alternative. Question everything, friends. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you one thing, they did look cool, but uh, like I say, they were not safe for your health, man. It's not good for your health at all. Let me know what you think about that down below. Would you deal with the the radium heaters or coolers or not? Me personally, I couldn't do it, man. My health is well. The beautiful fireplaces of the old world were just as stunning as the buildings that they were built in. But these were not made to be used with wood. They were all connected with those ether antennas on all those old world buildings you've seen. Connected to the rebar and the metal backing on these fireplaces. Those and irons were no decoration or holding in firewood. Filled with material like radium, mercury, acting as resonators of sorts. Radium depicted in these pictures here. Used to both heat and cool the houses of the old world. I mean, just looking at some of these fireplaces, you can tell that wood was never made for them. They are pure marble white and just beautiful. That fire would just completely blacken and cover in soot in an instant. What you do see in a lot of these old pictures is fire never actually being used in them. Just look at this one here. Where are you going to put the wood at? Some of them didn't even have flues or connections to them. I've heard people talk to me about this in previous videos from places like New York where they would tell me their landlords told them not to ever use their fireplace as it was actually not ever connected or set up to a flu or anything like that. Why would they hide this kind of technology you ask? Well, 
Remember that when you're looking at your gas bill this winter. I know I will. Question everything, friends. Until next time. At this time, I want to thank everybody who has been showing love and who has been showing a lot of support and, you know, asking me, you know, this and that and how I'm feeling and hoping, you know, sending prayers and saying, you know, that, you know, all the kind words, you know, telling me to get better and everything. I still feel a little like, you know, I'm still feeling bad. This stuff is not an overnight thing. It's not, you know, this is a... This is a battle, you know what I'm saying? Just like this, the, these videos and this information, I'm here for the good fight. I have to get back to the to the fight, to the good fight, you know what I mean? But um, I'm feeling better, but uh, it's, it's, like I said, it's not an overnight thing. It's, 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 it comes back, you know, and I have to get rest, you know, I have to get rest sometimes. That's why my other videos haven't been as long, because it's messing with me, the lights and everything. It messes with me, you know, but uh, like I say, this is the good fight and I have to get back to the good fight. I have to get back to y'all and uh, put this info out. I got to pitch y'all on game, man. And I appreciate all the love and support y'all, like I say, man. But uh, that's the end of the video. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comment section. Radium, it's some serious, y'all, it's some serious. It's in all your wrist watches and all that, anything that glows in the dark, pretty much. But. Uh, like I say, I appreciate all the love, man. It's your, it's your main man, Koozie. I'm out. Holla.